In today's class, we will look into dissociation constant and peak A value of carboxylic acids. Right? What we basically do in this, uh, will we'll be doing in this lecture is, we'll see how acid strength can be expressed in terms of dissociation or ionization constant and in terms of peak A value. Right? To express the strength of acid in terms of peak A value, we'll be using a small relation, right? Uh, that we have learned before also in um, ionic equilibrium and dissociation constant is taken from law of mass action right we'll be using these concepts in this uh, lecture right so till this point we have learned one thing that when an acid is added to water right or when an acid ionizes it releases hydrogen ions right so more the number of hydrogen ions it releases more would be its strength Right? So acid strength is directly proportional to its hydrogen ion concentration in solution right? or hydronium ion concentration in solution. Now we'll express the same, we'll express hydrogen ion concentration or hydronium ion concentration in terms of equilibrium constant and your pKa value. We'll, first we'll derive a relation that relates equilibrium constant or your ionization constant in terms of hydrogen ion concentration once we get that then we'll derive a relation between your pKa and your ionization constant right so let's just understand this is your carboxylic acid when it ionizes it gives you carboxylic ion and your hydronium ion concentration right we know how hydronium ion forms you have hydrogen ions which in solution reacts with water to give you hydronium this is how hydronium ion forms that is why we write hydronium ion instead of hydrogen ions now any acid right will ionize right will undergo this reversible reaction right there is a reverse reaction where this carboxylate ion right will combine with hydronium ion or hydrogen ion to give you back unionized molecule and these unionized molecules are dissociating into these ions so there exists an equilibrium at one point this reaction will attain an equilibrium right so when the reaction will attain equilibrium will apply law of mass action to this and one more thing more are the number of hydronium ions more would be the acid strength right more hydronium ions right more would be more would be acid strength so your acid strength is directly proportional to your hydronium ion concentration right now when the reaction will attain equilibrium we can apply law of mass action Right, as per which your equilibrium constant at equilibrium, the equilibrium constant would be expressed as concentration of these two ions divided by concentration of your carboxylic acid. Right, here I have just missed one thing. You can, since we have added acid to water, so we have water also in the reactants. Let's just write it this way in order to. Ex uh, express the law of mass action this acid is added to water it will dissociate into carboxylate ion and your hydronium ions now at equilibrium right at equilibrium the law of mass action says concentration of RCOO minus and your hydronium ion divided by RCOOH then you have water concentration of water right we know that we have done this in chemical equilibrium that concentration of water is more right water is in excess so we can take water as unity we will take the concentration of water as one right so this equilibrium constant will become since I said is ionizing this is your we call this equilibrium constant in case of acids is 
as ionization constant or dissociation constant right so ka would be will take this water as as unity why because water is in excess right since water concentration of water we have taken as 1 right why because water is in sorry water is in excess so this is your ionization constant we call it as ionization constant or dissociation constant dissociation constant of acid right now since here we said that acid strength will depend on the concentration of hydronium ions more is the concentration of hydronium ion more would be the acid strength right here acid strength is directly proportional to hydronium ion now from this relation your ka is also directly related to your hydronium ion right this is your first relation this is your second relation from first and second if your acid strength is directly proportional to hydronium ion and your ka is also hydronium is directly proportional to hydronium ion from this relation then your ka is directly proportional to acid strength from first and second from first and second your acid strength right is directly proportional to ka which is your ionization constant so more is acid strength right more is acid strength more is hydronium ion concentration and more would be the value of ka right and one thing this equilibrium constant this only depends on temperature at constant temperature right this value of this equilibrium constant will remain same right this equilibrium the value of equilibrium constant is constant at constant temperature right now we got this relation that acid strength is directly proportional to ka value more is the value of ka more would be your acid strength right so since we know that from previous discussions we know that in hcooh is stronger acid than ch3cooh right so here ka value for formic acid would be higher compared to ch3cooh right because formic acid is a stronger acid that means hydrogen ion concentration would be more or hydronium ion concentration would be more that means higher would be the value of k so higher ka value means more acid uh, more is the acid strength right now it has been seen that the value of ka is very less right it is expressed in negative powers of um, 10 right like uh, for acetic acid ka value is 1.75 into 10 to the power of minus 5 right and for your formic acid for formic this is for acetic acid and for formic acid ka value is 117.7 into 10 to the power of minus 5 right the value is very less right this is a very small number so what we do is now we'll learn how to express acid strength in terms of pka value what we do is we express acid strength right in terms of pka value right let's see how we can do this we know that pka is equal to minus log 10 of ka right this is the relation since we know the value of since we know ka right or the value of ka using the value of ka we can find the value of pka from this relation right so this is your negative logarithm of equilibrium ionization constant pk pka is negative logarithm of 
ionization constant right so more is the value of ka less is the value of pka right since pka is negative logarithm of a ionization constant so more is the value of ka less is your less is pka right so that is why if you pk value for formic acid if you look it is pk value for formic acid is around 4. Point, uh, it's 3.75 right if you want to see the pk value it is 3.75 for formic acid right and for acetic acid it is 4.76 for acetic acid pka value is 4.76 right so here as i said more is the value of ka less is your pka value so for stronger acids we know that ka is directly proportional to hydronium ion concentration right so ka value would be more for stronger acids right but their pka value would be less right because more is the value of ka less is your pka right so for st stronger acids pka value is less right than the weaker acids right pka value for stronger acids would be less than your strong uh, than your weaker acids whereas ka value for stronger acids would be more than weaker acids right now here we'll put the value of ka right to get the value of pk log 10 if you put the value for formic acid it's 17.7 into 10 to the power of minus 5 if you will calculate out calculate it out you will get this value pk 3.75 similarly right this is for formic acid now for acetic acid pk is equals to 4.76 and we know it's a weaker acid right so in the exams you get questions like why is the ka right value of ka for formic acid is more than acetic acid why right you need to explain then why acetic acid is stronger than your formic acid because of this electron releasing group that makes oh bond a stronger bond you have to explain everything or you may also get that since we have studied that this fluoroacetic acid right is stronger than acetic acid right so you will get a question that pka right for fluoroacetic acid right pka for fluoroacetic acid is less than pka for acetic acid why right then again you have to explain that your fluorine is electron withdrawing group that will make your oh bond a weaker bond right due to which hydrogen ions will be easily released that we have studied in previous lectures right so remember you can get you will get these kind of questions in exam based on this which is important this is important topic right so i'll just quickly revise this is your ionization of acid at equilibrium we apply law of mass action where we get this water is in excess so we take its concentration as 1 right so this ka would be ionization constant or dissociation constant of an acid right so we know that acid strength is directly proportional to hydronium ion concentration right and more is hydronium ion concentration more would stronger would be the acid now from this relation we know that equilibrium uh, this ionization constant is directly proportional to your hydronium ion concentration right so more is your hydronium ion concentration that means more is the strength of acid so more is hydronium ion concentration more is your value of ka right so stronger acids have higher value of ka that is ionization constant than weaker acids right now since the value of ka is very the value the numerical value of ka comes to be very less right the number is very less it's it is expressed like in 10 to the power of 
my negative powers of 10 right so this is quite not user friendly number so what we do is using this relation we will convert this ka value or we write this value of ionization constant that defines the acid strength in terms of pka value right we use this relation right so in this relation we see that more is the value of ka less would be the value of pka right so for stronger acids the value of pka would be less than your weaker acids right i repeat the value of pka would be more for weaker acids and less for stronger acids right and based on this you may get questions like why is the value of pka less for chlorofluoroacetic acid than for chloro than for acetic acid right because fluoroacetic acid is a stronger acid why it's acetic acid why it is a stronger acid you need to explain this right i hope this is clear thanks